By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic and we open up old school magic. It's another mail day and uh, this is quite a chunk of cards. I think I know what's in here. I think this is post from Wouter. We actually uh, start started trading here by mail because, you know, because of the whole situation with COVID, we don't see each other that much anymore. So uh, over the app, we're sending each other cards and and pictures of cards, I should say, and then we trade by mail. So we we, we send envelopes back and forth, which is uh, which is funny, actually. I really enjoy trading. I enjoy trading more than, than buying a card. Buying a card is much easier. Sometimes it's also eventually cheaper, but I, I enjoy looking at what I have, what I don't need, and what I can trade with others. So here are some cards that I believe I traded uh, this. I think it's from Ron, who is an old school player in Leobard. So more about this later. I think I'm gonna start with this. So I believe it's from Wouter. Old school magic player in the Netherlands. Great guy and uh, also a big fan of Revised and a Fallen Empire. So then you kind of know what kind of cards I probably traded with him. Let's see. Wow, okay, there we go. Demolish that envelope. Boom. Okay, there's a smaller envelope in the envelope. That's, that Actually, that's pretty smart. That's pretty smart, Wouter, I never did that. Like you use this also, I usually use a separate piece of paper and kind of put it into a package. And if it's a really valuable card, of course I use a top load or a bubble envelope, but yeah, that's kind of interesting. Let's see, okay, so, oh, here we see top loaders. So we have, a swamp, and I believe I thought this was post from uh, Wouter, but wow, this is completely unexpected. I've got a Tetsuo Umezawa in here. Um, I actually don't know who sent me this. This is kind of crazy because this is. Oh, I seriously, I'm, I'm. I just don't know who sent me this. This is. This is. Wow, okay, <laughs> this is this is crazy. Let me just have a look here what this is. Um, look at how beautiful this card is. I have an idea, but I did not, just to clarify, I did not trade this card. I did not order this card. I did not expect to see this card in the mail. So I don't know who sent me this card. This is... Yeah, wow. So if you're watching this video and you're the one that sent me uh, Tetsuo Umezawa, first of all, a big, big thank you, I guess. This is, for the people that don't know, besides it being a really cool and beautiful card, it's it's also one of the cards that recently uh, spiked in value. I don't know the exact um, value of the card right now. I'm not a financial channel, but I do remember when I was in Germany, Dusseldorf, I actually wanted to buy this card. I think it's actually this copy, but unfortunately, as you can see, it's in beautiful condition and it was simply too expensive for me to buy. I believe the asking price was around 80 or 90 euros, which is completely reasonable for the card. It wasn't an unreasonable asking price, but yeah, it was too too expensive, you know, And but look at, look at the quality. I'm, how do you say it in English? I'm baffled. Like, I really don't know who sent me this. So let's take a look. So we have a little bit of information, but no name. It comes from the Netherlands, that's for sure. And it says here, old school mail day with the smiley. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, if you're watching this, uh, thank you. It's fantastic. I'm definitely going to play with this card. It's on my wants list. Want list. For a while and I actually was really bummed um, when it peaked up in price oh, okay um, beautiful beautiful card actually I didn't even discuss what it does so it's one blue and one black and a red to cast um, it's a summon legend as you can see 
from, of course, Legends. Uh, it's a 3-3, three, three. so it's a 3-3 three, three body for three. Obviously, the drawback being that you need these three different colors to cast it, but still, a 3-3 three, three for three is extremely powerful in old school. And then when we see what it does, one red, double black, one blue tap, destroy target tap creature or target blocking creature. So in that sense, it's better than... Um, uh, it's it's better than Royal Assassin because with Royal Assassin you can only kill uh, a tapped creature, right? And here you can also kill a blocking creature. Of course, the downside again is you need to pay all this mana to make it work. Also, what I really like is this little line at the end. Tetsuo may not be the target of an enchant creature spell. So that means you cannot control magic Tetsuo. It just doesn't work. Okay. Again, if you send me this, please let me know because I owe you a huge thank you. Thank you, thank you very much for this card. Um, okay, and, and let's continue. I'm expecting this envelope to be um, to be from Ron. But maybe not. Now I'm not sure anymore. You know, nothing is certain. If people just start to send me Tetsuos, which is fantastic. I mean, what can we expect? Let me make sure I'm not cutting through the card here. Oh, okay, there's a little, it's just paper. Okay, just wanna be sure. Um, for the people that don't know, by the way, uh, Ron is also known as the Often Troll. He organizes the Often Troll Cup, um, and we had a huge live stream, like it was 11 hours, and I had it with uh, Richard, better known as Old School MTG underscore NL, better known as, um, the guy behind the Raging Bull series. So I did the commentary with him. And Ron, thank you very much, man, for letting me stream it on my channel. It was just a lot of fun. And of course, to Richard also for doing it together. It's it's so much more fun to do it with somebody else than to do it alone. And yeah, we streamed for 11 hours and it was just a great event. And Ron actually made it to the finals. I, I, I'll put a link oh, yeah, here. Thank you for participating. See you next year. Such a cool altar. Um, and for the people that have missed the live stream, I'll just I'll just put a link up and, and you can click on it. And I think I know, because he held a raffle and um, we were actually included in the raffle as commentators, which was pretty sweet because she could win some really nice cards. Um, and I guess he sent it all out. And then this should be a beta death ward. And yes, it is a beta death ward. Mark Pool Art, really nice. I really like the, the rich colors here in the back and also this here. I feel like the older art has more, um, like includes the wizard more often. Like you can clearly see this is you as a player regenerating a creature, which is quite nice. Let me know what you think of this card. Like it's, it's, I know a lot of people think it's pretty useless. You don't see it often, but still an instant regeneratability. It's not that bad, especially right now where you see so many discs, at least in my play group, you see a lot of discs. So that can help. And with play group, I'm basically talking about the whole Dutch old school scene. Cause we all like, we all, we all play together online right now, but usually offline. It's not, not a really big country. Um, you know what? Maybe I can give you guys a closer look of the cards. Mm, it's going to be difficult. Mm, let me see. How can I cut this loose? Again, it's really well shipped with that piece of cardboard. I think I'm actually going to... Keep, the, keep this piece of cardboard, Ron, because I can just use it to send a card. And um, let's see. Let's have a look. And here we go, Death Ward, bam. I don't know why I did that, because you already knew what it was anyway. A little dent there, I think. It's not really visible, but it doesn't matter. This is just the card that Ron gave away in his raffle, and he gave away many more cards. It was really nice. I like that about old school, having these raffles. Anyway, um, this was the mail day, and 
I have an idea who sent this Tetsuo, so I'm definitely going to send you a message. Maybe I'm wrong, could be, um, but th yeah, this is insane, man. This is really insane. Um, thank you for watching another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And um, if you want to support the channel, you can send me a Tetsuo Umezawa. I mean, <laughs> but in all seriousness, uh, in all seriousness, um, you can also support it just by liking, leaving a comment, uh, sharing these mail days on your socials if you like them. Um, subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. And you can also become a patron to so support the channel in that way. And you can do that by visiting the Timmy Talks Patreon page. There's probably a link popping up right now. Click on the link that will take you to the Timmy Talks Patreon page where, I mean, you can get to know all about the Timmy's Patreon uh, you can already join for a dollar a month if you're interested. Talking about patrons, let's go to the end scroll and let's take a look at our fantastic, amazing patrons of Timmy Talks. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ich kann das Fickete Sommer gesehen.